Welcome back to Anything German Shepherd. We all want to let our dogs run free, just to see the joy on their faces. But unfortunately, the rest of the world isn't always okay with it. We're forced to confine our dogs from time to time, and the wireless fence might be the best all-around method of confining our dogs while still giving them plenty of space to run around. Wireless fences don't use cruel or inhumane tactics and do a good job of stopping dogs from leaving their territory. But you really need to choose the right fence since low quality products are unreliable and ineffective. Advantages of wireless dog fences include its low maintenance, it can maintain a nice view, it offers peace of mind, and it's cheaper than a physical fence. However, a wireless dog fence is susceptible to radio and cell phone signal interference. But once you figure out which devices are interfering, you can remove them, replace them, or move them further away. And the boundary radius will sometimes fluctuate slightly, meaning the border can shrink or enlarge. This isn't always happening, but it is worth being aware of. With the market overflowing with substandard wireless fences, you'll need to consider some important factors to ensure you get your hands on the right product. The ideal wireless dog fences are made from high quality plastic, rubber, and metal parts. And make sure that no parts are loose, rusty, or broken. Convenience is the best part about these fences. So try testing the fence to make sure it's easy to operate. And check for product reviews online. The best fences don't malfunction often, so if there's been an incident with the product on your watch list, choose another one. And the fence must work properly, or else it's of no use. Again, test it to see if your dog responds to the fence and remains confined. These products are designed to be within tolerable limits for any dog. German Shepherds stop well short of the voltage needed to inflict injury, so the fence doesn't hurt your dog much. But you should probably avoid this training method on young puppies and dogs with anxiety issues. Although it might seem like a good choice, a wireless fence won't be good enough for a dog with serious aggression problems. To confine an angry dog like that, you'd need a lot more voltage, which would be dangerous for the animal. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us. Feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time.